Hey, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic Survival with me, Squidoodle. Today, guys, we got a very fun episode planned. But before we get into that, let's shout someone out. So I was looking through yesterday's uh, YouTube comments, and uh, I felt like this one helped me the most. Michi Medi said, do not trade for a saw blade, just craft them in the craft pot. So then I was trying to grind my crops to give to Larry. And uh, I thought he was helping me out with a good deal, but it turns out he was scamming me. Larry's a big scam. So what we're going to be doing is uh, getting ourselves a saw blade and a drill in today's episode. We're going to play around with that. I'm super looking forward to it. Also, you guys said that I was because I was using two engines, I was obviously going through fuel way too quickly. So we've kind of turned it down a little bit. We've uh, kind of gone with our level four engine. We've still got our level three. We're going to use that for our saw blade and our drill. But... Before we get into any of that, before we get into any of the destroying of stones and wood, we're going to go on a little expedition. So I kind of mentioned in the last episode that I really wanted to crack on with a farm. I really wanted the biggest farm ever, and I wanted to see, like, how many nights we could defend against the bots and just get a really amazing sort of yield from our crops. So what I've done is I have made... A water cannon. So here's the container. I'm going to show you guys how it works. Uh, I've made another chest as well, just because I had way too much crap. So here it is, the water cannon. We're going to drag this into our inventory, and we also need a button, and we need the pipe. Where's the pipe? There it is. And I'll take some blocks as well. So let's trot on down to the river, and then I'm going to show you guys what the plan is. So what you kind of do is you basically... Get some blocks like that, and then you kind of do something like this, and then you kind of stick the little suck suction thing in my jigs this way, and then we need a pipe on top. Let me just get my lift out because I'm a little bit I'm a little bit small. Come on, I think that's pretty much it. A pipe there, and then that there, and then you literally just stick a switch on it, and then you just do that, and then you go yeah, give me give me give me some water. And I haven't made it go down far enough. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know that. If you press Q, look at the pipe go. Oh, that's so good. So you'd have to mess around with, like, small ones. Oh. <laughs> okay, can we switch on now? It's not connected to anything. Derp, derp. Here we go. So this should work. Hey, we go. Look. <laughs> it's sucking the water up. Yeah. So... That is what that does. So what I was thinking is if we find our perfect planting area, we find a... We need a lake next to it or a pond or whatever. And then we need to set one of these up constantly. And then we can connect pipes to this and then connect the little... Where have I put my little gun? Oh, I didn't bring the cannon. But you basically put the cannon onto the pipe and then you can just shoot. You can just shoot as much water as you want out because look how much this thing actually grabs. It's ridiculous. So I kind of want to make a cannon on like two bearings. One to move like left and right and then one to move like up and down. So I can kind of like get a, a whole area done. So that is the plan. I am really pumped about this. This is <laughs> pumped. Okay, let's just go and uh, let's just go. <laughs> the only problem is when you pick it up, you get like 20 billion bits of water, which... It's kind of nice, but I don't really want it right now. Thank you. So that's the second part of the video. The first part is actually finding our location. And I'm kind of looking forward to it because I kind of want to go out and see the world because I haven't really seen much of, you know, this, this scrap mechanic seed yet. So I kind of feel like I'm I'm going to be searching for my sort of perfect area uh, to settle down and start planting some crops, which uh, should be really good. I've got so much water. Okay, so... Let's go. Do I empty all this out? I might just empty all this out quickly and take this little chest with me. Just in case we find any, like, soil or... Mainly soil. Alright, this chest is empty. It's, it's a little bit of a crappy chest, but... You know what? It'll do the job. So, I've got myself some fuel. We've got a little bit of food. We can always get the corn. Gotta love a bit of corn. So, I'm wondering, should we go back or should we carry on going forwards? I'm just gonna... Let's go around this way and see if I've missed anything. Because, obviously... Going back is obviously where the start is, even though that area is pretty nice. Oh my goodness, look at the steering. Look at the steering now I've taken, like, the back engine out. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, she's not as smooth anymore. 
So we're looking for a nice little area, perhaps on a hill. Larry's got the best spot. I, I'm so jealous of that guy. He's literally got the best spot. He's like encased by stone. <laughs> He's got a nice little pond in the middle. I don't know. I'm honestly thinking about just kicking him out and <laughs> putting my farm there. All right. Maybe we should get some soil here. We can't. That's the thing that we need at the minute. We need soil. We've got plenty of seeds. We just need the soil. That's all I'm here for. Oh, I'm getting some new tail lights here. Okay. I really needed these, actually. <laughs> I was missing mine. Okay, there we go. Get him the, get him the tail lights back. Oh, no. We're back at the big warehouse. <laughs> still, I'm still not allowed in. I really want to go in, but I'm not allowed in. Okay, I'm going to stay away just in case there's any bots. Okay, it's lagging. Okay, maybe it just leads here. Maybe we just need to... Maybe we should just go around it. So it's morning again, and I've still not really found any sort of place where I could set up my farm. Larry's place is looking more and more tempting by the minute. Um, I know what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for a nice little, like, hidey place with some water. That's, that's pretty much it. Obviously, I can't make a farm like this, um, like, just in the open like this. Just, it just wouldn't work. So we'll keep looking. This map is, is so big. It's crazy. Ooh, what is this? Okay, we found something new. Ah! Get out of my way! How did it- how did that not flatten him? You are so lucky- oh my god, there's two. What the hell? I need to fill my buckets up. Full of water. Ooh, there's a big chest up there. And there's purple goo. Wait, I want to see what the purple goo does. <laughs> is it dangerous? Ah! Yeah! Oh, are these the chemicals? Can we bucket it up? Oh. Ooh! Chemical bucket. I love chemicals. I want this plant. This looks fun. Oh my god. That's crazy. I wonder what happened if you throw the chemicals at the bots. I wonder if it like kills them. Oh, parkour master. Parkour master. Look at these skills, bruh. It's only like a level one chest. What the crap? Pineapple? Well, I want a pineapple. Ooh, there's water over there. I've just kind of come to the conclusion that Larry has the best spot. And whenever you see water, it's always in the open. You don't really get like pools of it. So we've either got back at the start. We have a nice little pondy area, but it's near the start. I don't really want a base near the start. Oh, we got Larry's. We could, we could take over Larry's. Oh, that's Larry's. That's not... That's not mine. Ooh. This is nice. Look at this. Our own little private lake. I like this area. This is a really nice area. Just right near the chemical plant. <laughs> no, but this is pretty... I like this. This is kind of nice. This is what I want. This is a contender, guys. Is there any stuff that spawns in the bottom of his oil? That'd be... Oh, this is a big contender. We'll carry on looking, but I feel like that's as good as we're gonna get. Unless there's an area like that that's a bit more, like, rockier. I'm scared I'm gonna run out of fuel, actually. I'm not gonna lie. How much fuel have I got left? Seven. Yikes, boys. Seven left, and we got ten in our inventory, but it's taken us... Obviously... Oh, we got gasoline. There we go. It's taken us more than that to get here. So I've got to keep them ten in my inventory. Or 13 now to get back home. Or to at least to attempt to get back home. So if you guys played the creative mode, I think the dev said it was about 16 times the size as that map. And that map was a fair size, to be fair. It took, took a while to get from one side to the other. So it is a pretty big map, this. Corn wrecking fuel economy since 2002. Oh my god, that's a big boy bot. I'm just wasting fuel like this. I, ca I kind of want to... I don't think I can make my way through. This forest is way too thick for this vehicle. I think they might have done this on purpose. So... I kind of want to keep going though. I might just leave my vehicle there for a second. Yeah, look at this. There's no way you can get through this with the vehicle. Whoa, whoa, look at this. There's some lakes down here on its own. <gasps> oh, that looks so nice. We're a bit far away from everything though, but... That looks amazing. Okay, let me just take care of this guy. I wonder if there's a way around. Do we want to be this far away from Larry, though? But look at that. There's two lakes. 
Like, back to back. That's what we wanted. Okay, so we know they're here. So, I guess what I'll do is I'll have another quick look and see if there's anything closer to home. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, leave, leave the cow alone, dude. Jeez. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh my goodness. Jeez, that was pretty close. Didn't really like that. Okay, I'm getting my car out of here before big boy comes. Can't afford big boy to smash up my car. Not today, boys. Oh, should we full send? Let's do it! Woo! <laughs> so, we have that there. That is pretty awesome. I really like that place, actually. So that might be... Uh, that's definitely a contender. I kind of want to be closer to Larry. I'm just going to check Larry's side and see if there's anything around Larry's side because Larry's a bit of a legend. You know what? Even though he's a bit of a scatterbite, kind of, I've got a soft spot for Larry. Look at this open road! She's flying! Look! Woo! I'm wheeling! Can we go through the water? Let's full send. Yeah! Oh my god, we're on the floor? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what the- <laughs> Sure. Oh wait, we're here? That must be Larry's this way. That was amazing. I think my sound's bugged. I, th I th feel like it thinks I'm underwater still, wasn't it? There's still bubbles coming off my car. Oh, I'm glitched. Oh, I'm swimming! I'm swimming! Okay, I need to get back to water. It thinks I'm still in water. It doesn't understand. Okay, um... No! Oh, God. <laughs> no! No! Quick! Don't panic, Squid. I'm panicking. Where's my... Where's my engines? Here it is. Here it is. No. Engines, 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 engines. Why did I put the engines so close? No. No. Don't drown. No. No. I'm not drowning, I'm a... Oh my god, I can't. I'm, I'm not... <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh, I broke the game. I broke the game. There's <laughs> still air bubbles coming off me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, I fixed it. What on earth? Oh, it would come nighttime as well. That was amazing! I was flying! New hack! So apparently if you drive into water and then come out of water, um, it thinks that you're still underwater. <laughs> it's fair enough. Do you know what? After really giving it some thought, I feel like even though, you know, Larry's a little bit of a scam artist, I feel like we should go into business together, me and Larry. I feel like we would be excellent business partners, and I'm going to use his hideout as my farm. I don't think I'm going to make a base there, but I feel like I'm going to use his protection to start farming, because he's got it all. Uh, there's nowhere else on the map that's as good as Larry's. And I said it. I'm just going to admit it. Larry has the best place. He definitely does. Wait, my stuff should be, like, there. Why is it over here? What? What? Apparently, I went a lot further than I thought I did. That was insane. Okay, so I think I've got all the component kits I need now. Wait, where's my bag? Stop. My bag's just rolling away. It's like, nope, I've had enough of this. <laughs> Apparently, I've got enough component kits now to upgrade my engine to the final um, efficiency. So that is perfect. So let's go and do that quickly before I run out of fuel completely. So... Let's upgrade it. We got a level 5 engine. Do you know what they should have done? They should have allowed your engine to be able to put more oil in it as the levels goes up. Uh, not oil, gas in it as the levels goes up. I know you can get like a gas container for it, but I feel like that would have been a nice little, you know, nice little touch as well. Should we turn it up to like the max and see how fast it is? Oh, it sounds incredible! Wow! Okay, I can't control it. This thing has too much power. I think it's still got too much power. This new engine's crazy. So we got a new little town here. I'm gonna quickly loot this, see if we get any more soil, and then we're gonna head off to Larry's to see our good friend. So I've come to a different packing center, and this has got different veg compared to the last one. This one does bananas, blueberries, uh, oranges, and pineapples. So it seems like you need to visit different ones to actually pack 
different fruit, which is kind of interesting. So, the thing is, after I went underwater, I don't actually know whereabouts I am anymore. <laughs> I thought I was near Larry's, but I'm not. So, we gotta go and follow this road and just see kind of whereabouts we end up, because I'm a little bit lost, but this engine is so good. I didn't realize, but the level 5 engines, like, I've got it at about a quarter of the way up, and it's so fast. I feel like I'm lost. <laughs> was this the time I stole the controller? Was Is that that building? I'm not sure if it is or not, to be honest. I feel like I'm just absolutely completely lost right now. However, more soil is what we need for our adventure. I don't really need seeds because I, I have loads of seeds. And when you get, uh, when you plant stuff successfully, you get seeds back. So seeds aren't really the issue. It's just getting the soil at the minute. We got six little... Okay, no, we got more. Okay, we got a few more left, but <laughs> I'm running out. <laughs> I'm running out, guys. So if this is the place that I stole from, my house is that way. I need to go check, really. Let's go check it out. If it's got no front gates, then I've been here before. Oh, look, yeah. It's definitely got no front gates. And they're them annoying guys. Yeah, the guard's there as well. Okay. Well, I kind of know where I am. I need to go that way. Literally just following the road now. I'm hoping for, for the big mechanical sign. Wait, is this the second packing station? Ah, so that's where that road leads. Okay. Okay, so Larry's is up ahead. All right, I need to make some road signs. Um, We've got seven left. That should be enough to get us back up. So let's just go on. Let's get all the farming stuff and let's get started. At least I know which way this leads now. That leads to the second packing station. Okay. Interesting. All right, so let's grab all of the soil that we've collected. I'm not sure how much we've got. I know we've got a lot. We've got a lot for this, this little starter farm. It's going to be a big boy starter farm, let me tell you. So we've got uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 44. I kind of wanted more, but you know what? That's 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 pretty good. I'm, I want to try and get 100 today, but we'll see how it goes. Banana seeds. We've only got two of them, so they're pretty rare. We don't have any blueberries or anything like that yet, but at least we can get started on the bananas. Um, let's grab ourselves the water. Let's grab ourselves some bearings. Let's also grab ourselves the pump, the water cannon itself, some pipe, and let's grab ourselves a switch. I'm super excited for this, guys. This is going to be insane. Oh my goodness, this, this farm's gonna be huge. Larry's gonna be so annoyed at me. I'm just like rocking up to his house. Like, hello right, Larry. Oh, don't worry about me, mate. I'm just gonna um, just plant a butt ton of crops all over y'all. I don't worry, I'll just be staying here forever, mate. No, you just, you're fine. You just stay in your little house. It's not like he comes outside anyway. He just stays in his little house waving at me all day, so. You know what? I think it's fine. And he deserves it because he scammed me, so. If anything, I'm adding value to his property. You know what? It's a straight road. Should we just turn the engine fully up? Let's do it, boys. We're on four. Let's go max power. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, maybe not that max power. Holy crap. Okay, let's try that. A little bit over half. It's still wheeling. This engine is insane. Larry, I'm home. <laughs> just sees me like crashing through the gates like oh no he's here again the maniac the absolute maniac's back okay look at this this is a perfect plot Larry you've done such a good job finding me this plot all right let's have an orange let's get started we'll check it just for now before I start setting it up properly and then if that's a fine depth and it's happy doing its job there then we can move on but I don't want to kind of move on until this is happy so is it gonna be happy Yes, it's happy there. Okay, awesome. Okay, we'll grab this back. We'll grab the switch back. All right, well, I got something set up. <laughs> I ran out of blocks, and then I kind of ran out of buttons. What is this thing doing? It's, a, it's been a little bit weird. I ain't gonna lie. It's been a little bit weird. Maybe I'm just not used to the controller. But it keeps going one way and stopping. It should go... 60 minus 60 back to the middle. 60 minus 60 back to the middle. 60... Minus 60. I don't, I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't get this kind of, this stuff. I need to practice more on it. But I know it should work. But anyway, look. We've kind of got it set up. It's going to water crops. 
We need to basically have its own button so it doesn't kind of affect the turning. And to be honest, I might just get like off the controller and just put it on a... Um, just take my car seat and just do it that way. Let me just quickly test that out and see if that'll be any better. So this kind of works a lot better and it's a lot more easier, but it's not like automated and you've only got so much turning. But it'll do for now. So now what we need to do is get ourselves a button and then just start going at it. Oh, look at this. Yes. We don't have to mess about anymore. And he's kind of gay in them all. Well, most of them. Them back ones are being a little bit pesky, but look, we, we're we still managing. Oh, no, I messed one up. Oh, there's a gap. I hate how you can't remove it. That's good. No, I did it again. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry, guys, you have triggered you. Is that it? Is that all we got? That doesn't seem like a lot, does it? I mean, it's a heck of a lot more than what we had before. So, if I wasn't an idiot, and, you know, I kind of didn't place them that far to the left, then we would be kind of fine right about now, but... So, what I want to kind of do is refine this, and I might have it on, like, a thing above, so it just kind of goes... It needs to be like that, which is the ideal way to kind of water your crops. If we have this thing from above, we'll let it recharge. You can see the water container is filling up again. So all we need to do is get more pipe and then like I just basically have it from above and then we need to maybe have it on like a piston so it just kind of like that just goes across. But this way is fun. Anyway, we need to get planting because we've got a lot of planting to do. <laughs> unauthorized farming. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of unauthorized farming today. Oh, I hope, I hope, I hope this place is as safe as I kind of anticipated it would be. Or as, as, well, hope it would be, should we say. That is a lot of crops. Let's take this off, take the cannon off, and then let's pop the cannon on the, well, we'll put the thingy there. We'll fill it up like so. We'll put the cannon on the front. Oh, this is quite easy to be honest. Look at this. Just water the rest of the crops like this. Careful not to, like, run the produce over, like, but... Maybe this is the way forward. Maybe we just build a vehicle with a pump on it. And then, like, just make it small enough. Like a farming vehicle. <gasps> That'd be so good. And we have the pump, like, facing down, so all we have to do is, like, run over the crops. And then they're all watered. That's what we're gonna do. We could do a vehicle with, like, four wheels, obviously. But do it, like, built up. And a square, and then maybe like two pumps down, and then just literally just crawl over the vehicle, uh, crawl over the crops, and have some pumps on like buttons, or we could do like the logic gate thing where you have like a, a ticker, so it's just going ch -ch -ch automatically. Because all we need to do is set pumps up like this, grab all the water, and just do it like that. I don't really need to make it this automated, because this restricts the movement, but if we just have a, a dedicated farming vehicle to water them, that's going to be amazing. Okay, this is, this is epic. Only thing I really need is more soil bags. But this guy's only giving me one soil bag for 10 uh, beets or whatever they are. So, that's not really worth it. We might as well just keep exploring to get the soil. But I want the spud guns so badly. So, I'm gonna try and plant enough bananas to get myself the orange seeds, and then we need to plant loads of oranges to get the blueberry seeds, and then for, with the blueberries, we can get the spud gun. That's the mountable one. I kind of want the handheld one, but you need, like, these little guys in the cages, which I haven't found any of them yet. But anyway, let's see if we can defend our crops, and then the first sort of... Well, the second part of this episode is done. The third part's gonna be us... Obviously, just trying out the saw blades and the drills. But man, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you are, give it a smash of a like. I am very thrilled of how this is going. Like, normally, it doesn't go as well as this. I wish I had more soil bags. Oh, no, this one hasn't been done. Uh, you know what? We can, we can go for the good old-fashioned bucket for this last one. You know what? We haven't even used our bucket yet, so... There we go. We'll do a little bit of work, but... Man, this is so satisfying to see, like, all these crops grow at once. Like, normally, you make, like, three or four. But no, we got, we got loads here. Ten seconds to go. <laughs> I'm kind of interested to see 
if they'll actually be able to get like through you know Larry's fortress Larry's fortitude okay yes they will well that's kind of ruined my plans but there's not as many there's just is it just one whip bot is this it is this all you can do scrap mechanic one whip bot this is nothing hey mate I'm here stop that's fine easy easy that's easy one whip bot look I'm still growing stuff. Is that all you've got? I know it gets harder as the as the days goes on, but I thought it might progress depending on how many crops you've actually planted, but I guess not. I guess, like, hmm, that's kind of interesting. So, <laughs> personally, what I do is if you have a boat ton of soil, like, just keep it stored away and then just do, like, one massive farm if the game's only going to give you one bot, and it, it's, you know, disregarding how many crops you have, then you might as well plant loads of them and get a good harvest instead of just messing around planting, like, five. I feel like that's the way to go. So I'd save your stuff all up and then just go for it. Because if you're worried about food, there's tons of stuff. Like, you can get the, the cow's milk, and that, that stuff can last you. Like, you don't need food. Food, I'm kind of treating food as a currency in this game. I don't really want to eat it. I only have to eat it if I have to, but I can I can live off cow's milk. Look at all my crops. They're nearly ready. What I might do is I might actually plant myself some beets and uh, mm, try and get ourselves some more soil. Well, we survived the night and look at our beautiful harvest. We've got about 50 plants here. So I'm super pumped. I really want to do 100. I want to see what 100 looks like. So uh, what I might do is I'm going to harvest all of this. I don't want to leave it. There's no point. It's nearly ready. We're going to harvest it all. We're going to go back. We're going to make the saw blade and the drill. Give that a quick go and try and get ourselves some more soil. All right. That's most of them. Let's start harvesting. We've got our bananas. Oh, wait. Our bananas aren't are ready. Oh, bananas aren't ready yet. Maybe they take a little bit longer. Got our tomatoes. Very nice. Very nice. Got all of our carrots. Oh, this feels so good. Look at this harvest. Holy schmucks. That is a lot of produce. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to do beets. And because obviously it's for the soil. I said I wasn't going to do them, but we might as well. We've got them here, so we might as well, we might as well use them. Um, I kind of want to do more bananas. What else do we really need? Do we really need more tomatoes and carrots? So we don't really need tomatoes and carrots for any of the high-end stuff. I mean, pineapple or broccoli would be epic, but I haven't got any of them yet. I haven't got any of them seeds. Just drills. Drills and saw blades. That's all we can really trade them for, I guess. And fertilizer, but that only gives us 10 fertilizer, which isn't too bad, actually. Do you know what? We're only two off the saw blade. We've probably got enough for the saw blade once the rest of these tomatoes grow. So we might as well save some metal. We can't really spend the tomatoes on anything else. So we might as well just keep planting and then we can get on with uh, the rest of the video. We need to go and get ourselves the saw blade and whatnot. So we planted a few more bits of tomatoes, a few more carrots there. So let's just water all these. I'm going to leave the bananas. What is this? Is this a tomato that's still not popped out? I think it is. That was the one that it took me, um, yeah, that took me the longest to actually splash with a single bucket of water. Here we go. Oh, look at this. I love this so much. It's so amazing. Might be a little bit more efficient, actually, if I just kind of point it down, like I said. Yeah, that's so much better. Once we get a smaller machine that's not as big and chunky as uh, this bad boy, then, yeah, we could just do this. Just get a machine that goes over the crops and just waters them. I'm waiting for night number two. Get off my crops. They're going to be here any minute. Here they come! Stop! Stop! I see you making a break for it! No! No, he got my bananas! Hey! You savage! He killed me! No! My bananas! No, <laughs> my bananas!
<laughs> oh no, I should have made defenses. Oh my god, there's like 20 of them! What is happening? Oh my god, they're gonna kill me again. I don't believe it. Ah, uh, Can it be daytime, please? I need my buckets. So, every cloud has a silver lining, and as the saying goes, we actually found, as we were getting our bag back, I think it was one of them trapped farmers. I'm not 100% sure because obviously it was like really dark, but we're gonna head back that way and see if it was. I can't believe I died, but it makes sense that there were so many haybots there, like, you know, protecting them. Or, well, not protecting them, <laughs> guarding them, should we say. But uh, let's go see. I think it was over this way. I'm just gonna follow in one of my bags. This was the direction that I was heading. Oh, okay, components. Nice, some potatoes. Here he is. Hey, bro. Are you good? Whoa, what are these? These like the, sort of like the prison bears they were in. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. I gotta kind of take care of these guys, and then we should be able to get our bag back. Can we like knock this guy over here? Come on, bud! We're off on an adventure! <laughs> I think it means he's enjoying it. Oh! Have water! Have water! Okay, we need to, we need to destroy him before they get up. Okay, that wasn't enough. No, 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 no. Why is there so many here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, then. Okay, okay, you, you've got a good hit. I'll give you that. One more. One more, bro. Yes, let's go. Component kit. Oh, this is getting intense. Whip bot, just do one. I don't even want that anymore. I'm helping you. Don't worry. Don't worry, mate. Okay, you're kind of rolling away. We'll get you home. Don't, don't. <laughs> I've got you, buddy. Don't worry. I'm going to take you to Larry. Larry will sort you out. He's the best in the business. Like, it's scamming, but he's the best in the business. Oh, my God, dude. No, leave me alone. I don't even want the arms. Come on, bud, we going? How am I gonna get this guy up the hill? <laughs> I don't... I don't really know. We'll, I guess... We just have to keep hitting him. <laughs> Stop moaning! I'm gonna get you out of there. You'll just... Might throw up a bit, that's all. <laughs> Shut up, moaning! You try pushing someone up the hill. Well, I'm not really pushing him. Kind of whacking him. I've gotta be careful here. I don't wanna whack him too far. We're off to see the Larry! The wonderful Larry of Oz. Oh god, no. No. Up here. No, 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 no. It's like Rocket League, but... Prisoner ball. <laughs> there we go. It's all downhill from here, mate. Literally, you're gonna get sucked up by a big vacuum in a minute. So, uh, just enjoy the ride. I'm helping ya! There we go. Is that enough to get him on? Nice. Well, good luck. I don't know what Larry's gonna do to you, but probably be turning into mincemeat or something. <laughs> I don't know. And we won away. Ten oranges. Okay, this is such a grind for a spud gun, man. And I can't believe they annihilated my blooming bananas. That was all the seeds I had as well. Don't really know what's happening. Don't know why my bag symbol's here, but anyway. We got stuff to do. We need to head back and make ourselves the drill. So I'm probably gonna like upgrade the farm a little bit outside of the episode. I need to work on um I need to work on the bananas and some of the more tropical uh, fruit and veg. Cause there's no point carrying on farming uh, tomatoes and carrots. We need to be in the big boy league. We need to be smashing out some bananas and stuff. Okay, so we grab this, and then we should be able to make it. Interactive drill. I'm so glad that I didn't waste all of my veg on this. Because it's not that hard to make. So let's go and see how easy it is to actually make ourselves... Um, well, not make ourselves, but how easily it's going to be to farm stone and metal. 
Because that's what we're really going to need to make ourselves a base and obviously, you know, to kind of protect ourselves. Nearly done! I cannot wait to use this. This is going to be great. This is going to be so good. Grab this. Stick it on the front. Let's get in. Woo! Okay, so we'll disconnect it for now. Just because there's no point, like, wasting any more fuel until we get to the rocks. I could hook it up to its own engine, which I probably will do eventually. I just want to test this out for now. Okay, there's a big old rocky boy over there. We'll test it out on the smaller one first. Let's get smashing! Okay, that, that, that was... Nice! Okay, I'm going to just actually pop it on its own engine. And then we could just flick it on. And then we're not wasting so much fuel. It kind of needs to be a little bit higher, I reckon. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we definitely need to sort this out. Yeah, this is not a drilling vehicle by any means. We need, like, a really high one. Like, without all this bulk in the way. But let's just smash this up. There's so many projects I need to do. So we definitely need, like, a, a watering vehicle. And we also need one for mining as well. But let's smash this up and see what we actually get. Whoa! It's like pure metal. Oh, that's insane. That's actually crazy. I wish that when you, like, broke the rock, it just, like, did it itself. Do you know what I mean? Like, just kind of got into that form so you'd have to get out and do stuff. Nobody likes manual labor. So we did a little bit of mining. It got, it got nighttime really quickly, but we can now just chuck this next to this. And, uh... Yeah, I'm pretty pumped about that. That is, um, it's such a good way. To Wait, why is it not working? I said I'm pretty pumped. Why you not work? Oh, there we go. It's because it had stuff in the output we needed to take out. So, yeah, I'm pretty pumped about this. Look at this. I think we're going to have to take all this out. What is this? Is this stone? Scrap stone block? But, yeah, we definitely need to come up with a vehicle. If you guys have got any ideas or you can draw... Draw us some, send them to my Twitter. There's a, a link down below if you want to tweet me some pictures that you want to see for like a watering vehicle. And also one for doing like stone as well. I feel like it needs to be some kind of like higher up off the ground vehicle, um, a bigger ride height, and perhaps maybe a drill on like a piston that can kind of just have it itself in one position and then the piston can just kind of extend and uh, the drill can kind of just get on with its own thing. So this just actually transfers the metal straight in to the refined blocks. So we don't even have to bother with scrap anymore. We just get straight up metal, which is great. That is actually amazing. So even to get the high-end metal blocks now, like we get water from our little water pump and we get all the uh, little embers like so easily now. So. We don't really... We're pretty much chilling now. We've got a good sort of system going on. I really want to make myself a thruster. I'm not going to lie. Maybe we should do that in the next episode. We don't have any more component parts. But that'd be cool to actually make like a boat. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is try and come up with some ideas for the two vehicles. And uh, we're going to try and find ourselves some more soil. So I can make a massive, massive farm in the next episode. But we've improved massively. Our farm has grown quite a lot. We've got like 50 lots of soil at the moment. We do need to work on our defenses because it doesn't really seem like Larry's spot even really makes a difference. But it is what it is, guys. Hopefully, though, you have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please leave a like. And I'll see you tomorrow for the new Scrap Mechanic Survival. Bye!